Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy Crush. So let's talk about Trevor Ariza saying that Kobe is the GOAT and LeBron is 1B. Kobe is not the GOAT. I'm not going to debate that situation. But as far as LeBron and Kobe, LeBron is 1B. Kobe is a better player than LeBron. I know LeBron fans hate hearing this. All his fanboys, they don't want to hear this. And the media has poisoned a lot of minds, you know. So everybody think LeBron is over Kobe. To me personally, he's not. If you saw Kobe play, you saw LeBron, Kobe is a better player. He's a better product. I'm sorry, he is. I don't care what the media want to say. I don't care what they're talking about. Kobe is a better player than LeBron. And Trevor Ariza played with Kobe and he played with LeBron. In most GOAT debates, it's always between Michael Jordan and LeBron James. And Kobe get tossed to the side like he doesn't belong in that argument. And he belongs in the argument. Kobe should be in the GOAT debate. Even if he's not the GOAT, he should be in the debate. But for some reason, the media made it about LeBron and Michael, and they threw Kobe to the side. And players who have seen Kobe, a lot of NBA players, you know, old time vets, they think Kobe's better than LeBron. And I feel the same way. Kobe is a better player than LeBron. And Ariza think Kobe's 1A to LeBron's 1B. And I agree with him. So this is what Trevor Ariza had to say. For me, he is the best player ever. That's my favorite player. Mike is in a completely different conversation. But if I had to say Kobe is the best player ever, Kobe's 1A, LeBron is 1B. That's what Trevor Ariza had to say. If you've seen Kobe in his prime, you would agree. If you saw Kobe in his prime when he was winning championships, even when Shaq left, you know, Shaq left and everybody was talking about Shaq carried him and, and they thought he wouldn't have won any more chips. And the man almost three-peated. Kobe almost three-peated without another Hall of Famer. Name one time LeBron won a chip without another Hall of Famer. You can't name it. Because every time LeBron has won, it's been with other great players and he has stacked the deck every single time. But for some reason, Kobe's unappreciated. He's underrated. He gets disrespected a lot by, you know, Stephen A. Smith, other analysts who love LeBron. You know, they're riding his jock strap, so they'll, they'll try to disrespect Kobe and diminish him. And when they have the GOAT debate, Kobe's nowhere to be found. Nobody talk about Kobe. He doesn't belong in that conversation. But a guy who have stacked the deck multiple times in team hop, played with the most talent ever in NBA history, belong in that conversation. And you know, that's bull, man. So Shannon Sharp was taken back by Ariza saying what he said. But of course, he's going to be taken back by that. He's a LeBron fan. Everybody knows Shannon Sharp is always championing LeBron. So of course, if Ariza said Kobe's better, he's going to disagree or he's going to be taken back by that. because. It doesn't fit the LeBron narrative. Trevor Ariza only played with Kobe Bryant for a brief stint. It wasn't like a long years and years. No, he played with Kobe for like one season, I think. And within one season, he have witnessed that this guy is greater than LeBron. He played with LeBron also for one season. So he could make the comparison. He played with LeBron and he played with Kobe. I know LeBron was a little bit older, of course, you know, but. Everybody know, I'm telling you, Kobe is a greater player than LeBron. The media have pushed and brainwashed everybody to think LeBron is greater than Kobe. No, he's not. Kobe almost three-peated once again without a Hall of Famer. His best player was Paul Gasol. No disrespect to Paul Gasol. He's a good player, very good player. But I'm saying he's not a, he's not a superstar. He's not a Hall of Famer. He's a very good player, but he's a regular player, a good player. He's an all-star. So no disrespect to Gasol. He was a very good player. But LeBron have played with stars, superstars, Hall of Famers multiple times. And he's only four and six. Come on now. And, you know, they'll always use that debate. Shaq carried Kobe. It's always Shaq did this. And Shaq was a monster. So I'll never try to debate Shaq being great. Shaq was a monster. But it was 1A, 1B. Whether Shaq is 1A, Kobe's 1B, or vice versa. Shaq didn't carry Kobe. Kobe didn't carry Shaq. They needed each other. They were both great. 
they both played a huge role in winning those championships. Of course, Shaq won the MVPs, and I'm not going to argue if Shaq was the best player on that team. It is what it is, but when Shaq left, Kobe went on and got two by himself. He almost three-peated by himself. So, I mean, what are we talking about? And it's, it's very, very disrespectful that Kobe is never in the GOAT debate. He's never in the GOAT debate. On most people's lists, he's at the bottom. How is Kobe not in the GOAT debate? The man is 5-2, and two, LeBron is 4-6. and six. I mean, he has less MVPs, and we all know why, obviously. But he should be in the conversation. So, you know, LeBron and Michael is on the same tier, and Kobe's a tier below. You know, that's cap. Kobe belongs on the same tier as LeBron James. So they'll say Kobe was a sidekick to Shaq, but guess what? Name one sidekick that went on and won two championships by himself. So even if they want to say Kobe was a sidekick to Shaq, when Shaq left, he won, he went and got two more. Name a sidekick or somebody who's a sidekick who's doing that. Once again, I'm not going to argue if Shaq was the better player at that time. I'm not going to argue or debate that, but I'm saying Kobe was, it was a 1A, 1B situation. Either way you want to put it. They'll make it seem like Kobe was just a, a pushover and he just went along for the ride and Shaq carried him. And that wasn't the case. Because even Shaq will tell you, without Kobe, he's not winning those rings. Period. He's not. So even he would say that. They'll do whatever they need to to diminish Kobe so he can't be in a conversation or, you know, he can't be in that gold conversation. That conversation only involved LeBron and MJ. Kobe don't belong in that conversation. And that's bullshit. I know when you stack up the resumes, you know, Kobe only has one MVP. LeBron has four. So when you look at that, you're going to be like, okay. But let's be honest. Kobe was robbed of MVPs multiple times. If you followed the game for a long time, you know this. They robbed him of a few MVPs. And that's a fact. This man has one MVP. You know that's a robbery. Kobe should have had at least three MVPs minimum. But you know they robbed him. Once the whole situation, you know, the Colorado situation and the league decided we're going to make LeBron the face of the league, of course they kept sabotaging this man. And he still prevailed. He still won two championships. And everybody has their own opinion. There's no wrong or right. You could have your own opinion. So in, in Trevor Ariza's mind, Kobe Bryant is his GOAT. And I respect it. Is Kobe over Jordan? Of course not. But I do respect it. I do feel like Kobe is a better player than LeBron. I have seen LeBron. I have seen Kobe. Once again, when you compare the resume, certain things won't add up because LeBron has more MVPs. Kobe has more titles. Kobe has a better record, 5-2 and two to 4-6. and six. LeBron winning the MVP department. Obviously, he's the all-time leading scorer. He wins in the assist department. So yes, when you look at certain things, you're going to be like, LeBron is greater. But I'm telling you, Kobe is a greater player. He is. And as far as the MVPs, he should have had more. They robbed him. They literally robbed this man. And it's a fact. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share. Holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. I'ma say it. It's all about the game.